progress and the boom of Yanis and the boom of the way that he plays. Surprise? No. I mean, you, you, when you look at his body of work, I mean, this kid has, you know, improved in every aspect of the game, and he's still going to continue to keep get, getting better. Uh, one of the things he do, he, he works tremendously hard, and when you, when you go out and you work hard like that, you show that, you know, you put that dedication in, this is one of the outcomes. Although it's too early, do you think that they have a chance to win it all? To win it, well, everyone has a chance. Whether or not you get it done and get past Golden State is the uh, big question. So, yeah, they have a chance. Uh, but they still got a lot of good teams that they got to go out and uh, uh, beat. Uh, they, they're a young team, relatively, and uh, we'll see what happens. But did you expect it before the season starts that they would have such a great season so far and at the All-Star game they would be in the first record? Well, I, I expected them to have a much better season than last year. Uh, being at the uh, top spot, I didn't. I can't honestly sit here and say I didn't foresee that. But at the same time, I think it's it's very good, not just for the Milwaukee uh, Bucks uh, and their city, but I think it's good for the NBA. You played together with Kobe Bryant. You played against Michael Jordan. Uh, who you consider is the goat? Ah, <laughs> that's an easy question. I'm always a uh, rock and ride with Michael Jordan. I, I think uh, he's a first-class act, both on and off the court. And uh, uh, yeah, by hands down, he's the best player to ever play the game. LeBron is in the same phrase with with Michael Jordan. They're all up there, but they're not better. Yeah.